Hey everyone, it's a beautiful morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the southern Thailand province of Satun, and today we're taking a day trip to a place called Prasat Hin Panyat, which is this amazing hidden gem, a natural fortress, like a castle of rock with this cove lagoon that comes in that you have to kayak into. Uh, this is one of the unseen natural beauty wonders of Thailand, so I'm very excited to visit. Uh, it's part of the Satun Geo Park. And so in this video, I'm gonna share this entire experience, nature experience with you. We are starting this tour and this boat ride from a place called Ba Jet Loop, which is the Seven Wells community village, uh, known for its Seven Wells. So we just really quickly took a look at the Seven Wells before coming to the pier. Uh, but what's cool about this entire day trip and this attraction is that it's run by community tourism. It's run by this village. And so it supports the community. And we signed up for a tour. They're gonna take us to visit a few other sites, I believe, as well, uh, on the boat. And this village is surrounded by mangroves. And we're in kind of a, a cove. Welcome to our boat, and I think we're still waiting. Oh yeah, here he comes. He's gonna bring a kayak to put on the boat so that we can kayak into the cave, into the, the fortress, the natural fortress. I see they're loading up food and drinks for us, starting off with a snack as we, as we set sail. A local sweet snack, I believe. Oh yeah, it feels like a little, Airy crepe. Mmm. Oh, and stuffed with coconut. And kind of salty and sweet. Oh, it's really good. Mm. And we are off. Already beautiful. You can see the, the mountain formations and the mangrove forest as well. Just a couple hundred meters off the coast is where the islands begin and already just the amazing rock formations beginning to form. Our guide said we're gonna head directly to Prasat in Panyan because we're here quite early and he said later on the end of the day it can get pretty busy. <laughs> that was just a five or 10 minute boat ride from the, the pier. But here it is, the Castle Rock, which we're gonna get in the kayak and we're gonna paddle through to this amazing cove. I've been looking forward to this visiting Satun. It's so peaceful here too. Yeah, there's nobody else here yet. That's awesome too. We are safely on the kayak. He's gonna paddle for us. Captain, our guide. Yes. You guys okay up there? Yep. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's a high tide now, though. Ah, okay. Oh, it's high tide? Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Through the rock cave. Wow. This is so cool. And opens up into a. Wow, my god, it opens up into a private cove. Okay. Oh, and it depends on the tide, but we're actually at we're at high tide right now, so there's no beach. Whoa. <laughs> okay, come. You can see it two times. I mean, two different styles. One is high tide. Uh, which is high tide right now, and that's why it's kind of like an entire bathtub. The water is just whirling around. Other times, if you get here during low tide, 
the sand is exposed so you have a nice little beach here within this amazing castle fortress cove but the rocks are stunning they're so sharp and jagged what a cool place though it is incredible Okay, over in this little cove, there's a little beach starting to be exposed because it's coming to low tide soon. But the, the beach, the, it's not sand. This is straight up shells, just all shells. Look at that. It's whirling around like a, like a bathtub. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go swim another place, ma. Where are you? Where are you? Thank you, ma. Yeah, it is beautiful. So cool. Natural castle. I love how the trees are growing within the rock. Yeah. Here we go, back under the rock again. Wow. And now back out to the open sea. Paddling down into another cove. This is more of a cave. Wow. Oh, it is a cave. Stalagmites. Or no, are those stalactites? Oh, this is beautiful too. When it's low tide, you can take the you can take the kayak through there, through that little passageway, and it will end up in the same cove that we were just in, but when the tide is lower. Now it's impassable. I guess unless you want to swim underneath it. No. Yeah, probably not. Oh, we stay on here. That was so incredibly cool. And I think also what made it is we're the only ones here right now, even though it's high tide, and maybe it would be even cooler if it was low tide because you could stand on the sand and sit on the sand, but high tide with nobody here, it was awesome. Very highly recommended. Such a, a natural wonder for sure. From here, we're continuing on, I think, to go see some fossils. Actually, pull up to a beach. It's a nice little beach here, too. And we gotta walk up the, the rocks a little bit. Well, basically covering this rock, there's a bunch of fossils from kind of different shells, squid, really old fossils. The location here is spectacular. Both sides, water on this side, water on the other side where we came from. And you can hear water kind of sloshing around beneath us, underneath the rocks. Okay, now we're gonna walk across the rocks to the other side there where you said you can see uh, some kind of a heart shape. Ah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, you gotta be careful because the rocks are really sharp, but there it is, there's the hole, the heart shaped hole through the rocks to the water. We are 
are off on the boat again. He said to go play water somewhere, to go swimming. They even brought us lunch. Oh, it's coming out of the boat right now. Some boxed lunch for us to eat here on the beach. Oh, nice one. Oh, it's great. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is refreshing. They give you packy little tubs of kapadbu, which is uh, crab fried rice with egg. Oh, this looks good. And a little seasoning. Uh, lime. You gotta have lime juice and fish sauce with chilies. That tastes amazing, especially with that sprinkle of lime, fish sauce, chilies, crab nuggets, egg in there. What a location. Mm. Oh, those are big chunks of crab. Are you eating in the, in the water? <laughs> <laughs> that tastes abnormally delicious, actually. Um, I think the location, and actually, I'm pretty hungry. I worked up an appetite riding the boat. Mm. Delicious and simple. And then for dessert, they brought Mamuang uh, Namplawan, which is a green mango with uh, sweet fish sauce, but there's shrimp in it, and there's also chilies and shallots. Mm. Oh, wow. I love it. That contrast of flavor, the sweet, syrupy, caramel, fish sauce, salty. You taste the shallots, the chilies, contrast with the sour mango. Hmm? Mm hmm. The whole thing. Oh, 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 uh, which is the grandfather and grandmother rock. So I think there might be some gender, gender symbols. I mean, that's a total guess. Another beautiful location. I mean, this whole park is gorgeous, uh, but we're getting down into a cove, into the mangroves. Almost looks like a canyon here. Inside, there it is. It might have a kind of a folk or kind of a story that goes around with this region. But the grandfather is on this side. Grandmother is over on this side, symbolizing fertility. And it's kind of, it's a little bit hard to see from the boat. That was really cool. He sang a whole song, almost a few minutes long, uh, but that told the entire story of this area, Kopetra, and the history, the history of this village and this area and this fisherman community. Uh, 
สายบ้านเราประวัตินั้นมีมาแต่ชานานมีโคตานอยากจนอะไรกันบ้างยูนาพาเที่ยวบานยูนาพาเที่ยวครับผมหรือว่าอะไรนะคะแล้วก็การท่องเที่ยวการท่องเที่ยวโดยชุมชนบ้านบ่อเจ็ดลูก Okay. <laughs> so that's the name of the tour and the area uh, that we signed up with, that we went with. But we, we just, Ying, you just found them. You looked them up online, right? We just found them with a with a Google search. But I'll have the information in the description box. The lady who arranged it is called Nong An. And for foreigners, uh, I was 1,000 baht, and then for Thais, uh, 800 baht, 800 baht. And that has to do because it's a national park, uh, and so there are different fees for foreigners and. Thai nationals, but I thought it was a great, amazing day trip. Uh, definitely, the highlight is that castle, fortress, rock, uh, with being able to kayak through there. That was that was the highlight. So that's going to be it for this day trip in Satun. And I want to say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel guides and travel tips. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye from Satun.